I, I, I think they've kind of fallen out of this recently, but something they really used to love doing was giving Saberlight last pick, making sure they always gave him a nice lane so the crit could go and do other stuff on the map. Mm -hmm. Doesn't look like that's going to be the case this game, though. Well, I think that... Not completely free. I feel like uh, oh. Saberlight... Please hold. Poison. It won't be enough. The one is there from Arteezy, and that's actually going to be Arteezy getting first blood as well. And now Fly swooping in, looking for Three more. Illich being chased down. One more right click will be needed, not going to be used, as there will still a stick available as well. So the Spirit Breaker will survive, but still big win in the bottom lane. 100 HP, right? But the odd yeah. poison spam, the, the aura, the fact that at any minute Fly could just come in with some fire spirits to take away the right click of Spirit Breaker. He could maybe bash once every second or so, but now if he's got really good RNG, but he's barely right-clicking. One of the slower right-clickers in the game. Mid lane. Point, play with confidence. Crit tried to make a rotation in, but MJZ read him beautifully and was able to take him down with the help of Sladim. So rotation mid lane, not charge. quite successful. And now the charge coming in through. Arbet could be in some trouble. In comes the stroke of fate. Arbet tries to turn around and get the kill into Sladim. Instead, not going to happen. And the poison takes him down. Two kills in the middle lane for the Dazzle. What a start for Thunder. Yeah, I want to move as well. He doesn't even have Grave on Dazzle. They just rotate in, don't have the damage output, and in doing so, yeah, Grim walks up, helps turn around the engagement. And a little bit surprising that the Spirit Breaker charging mid, it's Arbed a little bit too far, stepped up and does trade his life away. Crit respawns, comes bottom, tries to kill off Knight. Should very oh, much be a no kill. Sabalite. Yep, Knight goes down, but over on the top side, they're finding another one. The Sableye will be killed off, and Sladim all of a sudden just three quick kills in a row. Mm -hmm. Bam, bam. Yeah. It helps as well that the, the aggression came to Sladim in the mid lane, so then he could just TP to Sableye, who was extremely aggressively positioned on the... To, uh, to, to stack the wave whilst laning. I've never seen that before. That's super sick, and now he's uh, reaping the rewards from it. I thought it was a trick question, to be fair. I was like, did SD stack it for him? Did he make a big blunder? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of a trick question. You don't really expect the carry to yeah. stack camps during laning phase. Ooh. Knight just gets blasted to the face. Yeah. This is what you kind of expect immediately to see. the ward spot. <laughs> There's no I ward don't there. think you kill him. Uh, oh, if Grim's here, you do. Oh, Stampede. Now. Ooh, that's set though. Yeah, Stampede's going to try and help nice out. Stroke. Crit does go down regardless, and Arbed can't quite finish the job onto Illich. Uh, he's just going to go and TP away from this one, and Arbed doing the exact same thing. Knows he can't fight with that Shadow Poison upon him, so just gets himself the hell out. To the carry, definitely a target you want to bring down a couple of times to stop RTC just absolutely running away with farm this game. Just really nice poking coming from Thunder Awaken. You go mid, get killed, come bottom, instantly get the kills. Just drag and chop a fire around the map, and... They need to kind of just slow down the game a little bit, set up their heroes correctly, so it just enables them to farm, but right now it's just not happening. <laughs> Quick finger crit doing the work onto Illich here, but Illich might still be able to get a kill. No, nope, never mind. It does get blown up by Arbed, who's on the sidelines here. But Sladim coming in once again, once another, gonna find it. This Dazzle's going pretty nuts right now. Hey, he's popping off. Kind of helps all the fights are localized in his era right like he's not having to think about his tps too much and he's going like who's uh got 2000 hp and uh, oh crit no he's tping out it's gone oh oh oh, oh. <laughs> it was close the agonims almost did it the machine gun quills coming into play here is Arbet being chased down as well on the bottom side of the map. So they were like jumping in on this one. They want to try and just bring down a support to start things off here. MJZ going to be that target as Arbet does eventually fall. Turns around to get the Laguna Blade onto Knight. Knight also not falling here. I mean, they're using their they spells, the but they're in. just not connecting. And now Saberlight all alone as the rest of the team come cascading down onto the Centaur. Saberlight, nothing he can do. Stuns nothing and dies. It's the one by one by one. Like, you need to respect the map play against the Spirit Breaker lineup and drag so far around. And <laughs> Arteezy goes top and instantly, look who's there. And then she's like, oh, let me go find a, an enemy real quick. Dude, this play from Thunder, it's, <laughs> oh, yes! it's actually insane. <laughs> it's insane. They are just slaughtering Shopify on just map play. I guess the key thing here is Shopify, out of the levels, most of their heroes kind of play for themselves, right? Luna wants to farm, Phoenix needs to farm a bit more, he hasn't got the big Sunray points to punish the Bristleback. Lena, even if she has a good game, she can't position in these fights. 
Well, here we go. Eclipse is used. Maybe MJC falls, although he's reached the limit on the Eclipse hits and he's not dead. The bind. Now, they need to get themselves away, but it's a beautiful it? soul bind coming out of the two of them. Here comes Bristleback from the sidelines as well. They've assembled on the side of Thunder and that Bristleback comes dangerously close to RTZ. Rips through Saberlight. They want the big carry. They might not find him, though. Beautiful SS LSA coming out, but the Inkswell takes the stun off. RTZ under tower getting beaten down. The charge comes through, interrupted by the Lucent Beam. RTZ fighting for his life right now under a tier two tower. They won't bring him down, but they will take his towers in the game. Become Ooh. a hero. I like the pickup though from, from Knight. Of course, he had the Vanguard. He then disassembled. He's now turned it into a Bloodstone and a Lotus Orb using the components for both of these items. And now that'll obviously help with the, the swap situation. He can poke his head up, mm -hmm. hit, 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 Lotus. If you swap me, I'm not going anywhere. I can then walk back down the, the, the lane a little bit. But they need to be careful. Yeah, the fun. fact that Illich has died twice. But oh, they're smoked up. They're looking for the fight. They see RTZ. They see the Luna. But Luna doesn't care. She blows him up. But here comes the charge. charge. Illich connects onto the Luna. They need the rest of the team here and they need them now. Where is the Bristleback? He's coming behind. He's lagging behind the fight a bit. And now He's they, they go with the Eclipse. They'll take down the Dazzle. A little bit of hope being shown. But in they go. Oh my god, the Blender has arrived. The Quills are here. And down goes Crit and RTZ. Taken out together. Arbed, oh, he just needs to run. He needs to get himself away, but he's gooed up right now. Suddenly finds himself he has all covered in snot. And now the charge comes in and the damage is there. It's a triple kill for Knight. Bristleback is just owning. He doesn't care that his Dazzle's dead. Not only does he just do an immense amount of damage with Course Break, he also has like plus 300 bonus damage. Yeah. Be given some time to breathe here and they're not leaving. Arteezy doesn't want to put the fight away. But Thunder, they're not going to give them a chance. They're going to bag themselves away. They respect Shop Fire Rebellion, and they will leave. <sighs> nice. Still in the still area, in the though. area, though. Silverage back up they're into still the second. in the area. The swaps out onto Knight. He's just gone. Luckily, it was the, the the support Knight and not the carry Knight. Sorry for the viewers at home. This is confusing. I know. <laughs> Lame Thunder Awakens for naming two of their players the same damn thing. It's cheaper on printing the shirts. True. <laughs> so they come stun immediately out to Illich, though. Knight just being held in position. And there's this the point where they try and go for him. I mean, they don't have the break available just yet. Can Silver Edge him if you want, but he's still got that bloodstone. Artis is just getting cooked right now. He's going towards the tree line, trying to get himself out, but the whole team just chasing him down. The Luna is dead. And Knight's going to get yet another kill from him. I think Shopify Rebellion just stuck around a little bit too long. They tried to make the reset happen, but it just didn't work out for them. I mean, there's a lot of layers to uh, how Shopify needs to take the fight, right? They need Saberlight to jump the back to disjoint SD and Dazzle's positioning. They need Arbit. But Shopify, they are now smoked up themselves. Looking. All right. To fight. Eclipse is back. Let's see what they can do. Dazzle would be a great target here, but it can be so quick from Sladdam. My goodness, you're not catching this guy sleeping as he immediately turns around and brings down Crit. Fantastic work. And now on the sidelines, they do see Bristleback. They're going to try and bring him down. They are able to do so. The break is there. The damage is in. And the egg helps as well. And Knight is gone. Finally, they bring down the, the Hedgehog. But now they're looking to keep the fight going. In comes the Spirit Breaker. Tears our better part. And they just need to leave. Shopify Rebellion, they got the kill. But they could only bring down one. That does seem to be the issue here. And so Sable are going to lead them on a merry old chase. Come with me, my friends, across the map. But the charge is there from Illich. That will put an end to his shenanigans. And Slams will finish him off with a big old shadow wave. Whew. Okay. There it is. They killed the bristle. Finally. They trade plus an SD. And he has no MKB. So he's potentially double amping both of the supports on Thunder Awaken if he is to complete this item. You could argue that maybe Bloodthorn could have been a quite a cute item for the Lunar in this game. Have the Mage Slayer, yeah. a bit of tankiness, provide that um, reduction in damage. Nice Lotus Ooh, here. Nice. Very nice job on the Lotus Orb here. And now they can look to start the fight. Sableye's going to be the target right now. Sunray's coming through, but he does absolutely nothing. Down goes Sableye. Buyback from him as Arbed and Artesia are just trying to find a way to get into this fight. But there's not really any direction they can move in from. Oh, they have managed to find the back lines, though. They've managed to find Knight, but the in comes a grave out on him, so he's going to be okay for the time being. Meanwhile, on the other side, Crit does go down to MJZ. Buyback's coming out from two of the Shopify heroes so far as Fly's Egg finally comes to an end. And Knight, once again, just is taking place, standing in front of Shopify Rebellion, daring them to come for him. 
Over on the side, wheel. but in comes the Eclipse. Artesi is trying to go through right now, but it's too damn hard. It's too much damage. And now the Tesselback's on top of him. He needs to fight Ex back, but how do you do it? Titanic comes out, but he's stunned locked forever. Down goes the Should Luna. Pull back already? No, oh, no, he's just in the middle of everything right now, trying to fight this one up, but it's not going to happen. The Centaur, he gets torn down as well. And once again, the moment these fights get broken, it is just thunder all the way home. A knight instantly into bot lane. Look at this, they're just ignoring Roshan, they don't care. Yeah. I, I think this is a, a really good read here. Just, oh, oh Dazzle died it. though, hold up, pause. No buyback on Centaur, he died back. Venge, also no buyback, that's a dieback. That's true. Well, winning this <laughs> one will, of course, fuel them into that into that final one. Swap back. Swap into back. The in comes the damage. The Brusselback's taken down for the first time here, but don't forget, he's got that Aegis, so coming back in a minute. Meanwhile, Luna being stunned up for now. She needs to get herself out of this one. The damage is coming through, and then comes the Stampede. That's going to save for the time being, as well as the Glaze being used to mitigate some of that damage coming out, but Crit is already gone to the Dazzle. And Saberlight, he's in some trouble as well. The damage is too much coming out from Knight right now. He takes him down again. And so much damage on this Bristleback with this 25 talent. He's ripping through the buildings, ripping through the barracks now as well. You use your combo to kill him the once, but now you need to do it the twice, and without the swap available on the Venge, it's just looking impossible. Nice little stun to the two of them, but it's not going to make a difference. The top lane of barracks starting to fall. Only three heroes on the side of Shopify to defend with. And the Lunar Illusion as well, just going to start going to town on RTC. He does just turn around and kill it off in like one hit, but... Meanwhile, oh, Bristleback is dealing with the barracks. Yeah, oh, sure, they get creeps. illich, whatever. Mega creeps go in the way <laughs> off Thunder Awakens. Nice. Bristle. He's on the front. Eclipse is there, but in comes a Grave. They're keeping him alive for the time being. Another Hex comes out onto Arteezy. Arteezy, he's holding his ground, though, because they're not looking to fight him. They're backing away, but Sladim, he didn't quite get that memo. He's still trying to bring Where's down Arbed. Arbed actually trying to TP back to the fountain. Might just make it in time. And Sladim will eventually get toward caught out. So, okay, they get a couple of exit kills. It's it's okay, but mega creeps. Yeah, I think that's this fight part. just kind of proves to me that if Shopify just fair play to Shopify, they did look for that sing that actual play. They were smoked up, and but the creeps barreling down the lanes. This should be it. Four Thunder Awakens. More just creeps Tier barreling down lanes. Thunder in the base right now. And now they've found Sablelight. Sablelight pops out Ultimate. Needs to get himself out of this one. But I'm not sure he's going to get a chance to. The Blender goes off. Crystal oh, Black shreds well. him to pieces. And now in the back lines, they've also caught out Fly. He's just gone as well. Does have a buyback available on the Phoenix. They're going to have to find a really cute entry into this fight. And I'm just not sure that's possible. Building's being destroyed. Swap is out. But the Lotus is there. You're just giving the Bristle a whole lot of HP. And now Hex is out onto Arteezy. Arteezy in some trouble. He needs to turn away fight around right now. He needs to start Titanic. getting off these glaze with the Satanic. I mean, he's keeping himself alive, but he's doing absolutely piddle of damage. And into the fountain he will go, but his Ancient is falling. Show off a fire rebellion. They need to find a way to fight up into this right now because they are running out of health on that Ancient. And down he goes, Knight. He's just doing way too much damage. And there it goes. The Ancient will fall and Thunder Awaken pull off a crazy victory here. What an upset. Yeah, what a banger game from them. That's like Just from the first series to this series, like this is the aggression that I want to see from this team. The way that they drafted it, but also executed.